Hey everybody, welcome back. Oh, your death has been avenged. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so, um, for context, I haven't played the game in maybe two or three weeks now. Um, I had that period of mass, mass recording this game, because it's quite addictive, and then I just hadn't ended up playing it for a long time because I was playing other things. So, I'm probably gonna go through another period of getting addicted to it now. But, um, I think I'm gonna do a story mission on this mission, but first I want to do this. Because it looks like there's some, uh, people to save. There we go. Please save my friend. He was making weapons to arm the slaves. I'm sure the fool's been caught. Okay, we have that marked off. Let's do a story mission now. I think I'm gonna do some of the ones with that, uh, the dwarf guy. I forget his name again, it's been a long time. I'm probably going to be a little rusty with the controls, I'll warn you now, that I probably will not be performing as well in this stage as I was in the previous episode. Oh right, what herbs am I looking for again? That was a uh, map, right? I am looking for one more blue Metroid. Isn't there one right over here? Yeah, sweet, let's go get that. Still haven't killed a Grog yet. Grab that slide! All right, I feel like I'm picking up the controls pretty fast. I feel like the things I'm gonna forget are more along the lines of, ooh. I think the things I'm gonna forget are more along the lines of more minor things, like say how to activate your mind-controlled people. But I can just check the control manual on that. Um, where is this? There it is. Oh, holy shit. Oh, I got an achievement there. Ranger of... Oh, went by too fast. Did I... Is that the last one? Sorry, I keep hitting escape thinking it's on that menu. All survival challenges complete? Wow. Uh, that was abrupt. Oh, and let's go save those uh, people too. Because I want to make sure that we have those marked off whenever we can. I didn't know I could crouch sprint um, with my elven swiftness. I believe that's what it was called. It's interesting. A lot of little things I still need to remember about the game. I do think it's kind of silly though how Elven Swiftness activates by hopping over things and by landing from small jumps. Because, whoa. Oh, well, there we go. It incentivizes you to get obstacles in your way. It just seems really odd to me. Oh wait, that's one of my guys. When did I... When did I get that guy? Is it Zed to activate? No, no. Okay, I'm just gonna check real quick. Uh, controller map... Oh, not controller mapping. Uh, keyboard and mouse. And, uh... Activate. I. Okay. Oh no, a cannibal! Serve my will! There we go. We all fled. Oh, that was easy. You can't run in armor. You can't run in armor. All right, let's go do the actual main story quest. So the reason I want to do some of these is because um, the only upgrades we have left that are blocked by story missions are both hunter related. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that has to do with uh, the hunter. Oh, oops. All right. This'll probably give me the Caligor or Caragor uh, counter. Skill. Shouldn't see me. Shouldn't hear me. It's a clean kill. And none of it is going to go to waste. What's your name, Ranger? Italian. What were you? A lieutenant? No, actually, uh, I was a captain. Oh, my mistake! We have a captain in our midst! Well, better look sharp, eh? Captain's coming! Better sharpen the swords, eh? And make sure our boots are nice and shiny! <laughs> He's weirdly oh, aggressively jokey. So tell me, Captain, have you ever hunted a Grau? That Grau has what you promised me. Just any growl. The largest one I ever came across. We must prepare. I 
should do just fine. I've been trained very well. My dog, Silver, was trained very well. That was before she got eaten by a warg. Hunt! It's not about rules, my captain. We're not going to line up and have someone play with our lives. It's about instinct, and it's about guts. Which, as you can see, I know a thing or two about. <laughs> you want basics on the hunt. Follow me. The hunt is its own beast, one you must learn to tame. First lesson of Karagor hunting, do not die. Well... What do we need them for? We ride them. A worthy mount for a dangerous hunt. Now, these beasts will not be impressed by your rank. All flesh tastes the same to them. Once you go on the hunt, Captain, you'll come out a changed man. Hopefully for the better, but you never know. When I was hunting wargs, I picked up their ways quickly. The Caragors, well, those bastards are a tougher breed. Took me nearly a year to figure them out. I figured them out pretty Caragors. fast. Buggers hate water. I once tried to ride one through a river, and she hightailed it up a cliffside with me on its back. Amazing what they'll do to avoid a good cleaning, eh? And the hunt is my mistress. Beautiful, thrilling, infectious. And she doesn't nag like my wife. Didn't know he was married. Oh, you haven't lived until you've been on the hunt, Captain. The very air smells different. Like triumph. Alright, do I have permission to speak yet? Ranger, over no. here! That one over there looks quite aggressive. Don't even try creeping up on the Karagor. It'll catch your scent a mile away. What do you propose then? Why don't you hop in and introduce yourself? Ask it for a ride. Okay, that unlocked it right there. Okay, what I've been what I've been meaning and wanting to say, but he keeps talking, is I I've been spending a while trying to figure out why is it that this guy looks weird to me. There was something about his face that was looking weird to me, and then I finally realized it. I think he's the only dwarf I've ever seen in all of lore in anything that does not have a beard. He's got some wicked mutton chops, but he doesn't have a proper beard. And uh, that's really weird to me. I don't think I've ever seen that. So that's interesting. When a Karagor charges, you have two options. Alright. Uh, they give you a lot of time to do that. What now? Climb on its back. Oops. <laughs> I did the thing. It Whoa. Whoa. Did he anticipate I would brand it? Oh, that was convenient. Man, he's way better at that than I am. He just punches it in the head and it works. Alright. That's about the same time it took me to tame one. You might be a natural, Captain. I cheated. I used my branding wraith powers. Oh, sweet. Training, Captain? I ought to walk with him. The Black Gate. The Black Gate. Nice place. Sounds depressing. Ah, shit. Let's find some Uruks. Now that you tame the beast, let's see if it will fight for you. I always I forget that, uh... Kill more- oh! I got a bonus objective killing more than he does. These mounts are actually kind of good. Although I would assume archers would, uh, enemy archers would really fuck with me on this. Right, right, I can eat downed enemies. What the fuck? Oh, not, not low. Oh, I had to tap it, okay. Okay, I've gotcha. If you hold it, you get your arrows. I don't think I'm gonna get more than he does. I, I do not have a feel for this. Even the fiercest beast can be used for good. You've been hunting and learning for long, dwarf. For years and years. Land used to be more lush. Now a doom slowly sweeps over it. 
Like much of Mordor. Yes. Though the Doom does add a space to the hunt. Sure he can ride a Fuck you, Michael. Are you kill stealing punk? You take him up high. Leave the ground dogs to me. The world was young, the mountains green. Steam yet on the moon was seen. Words were made, the stream was stone. When Jura all right, well, I'll do what he said and just take out the up high ones. There. All right, I guess I might as well move on to the others now. Uh, he dodges, okay. So you can only get him while they're down. Yeah, I keep slashing him, then uh, Torvin goes and eats them. Well, Torvin's Karagor goes and eats them. Well, that was effective. I probably should have used... Uh, an arrow on the fire. You know, he doesn't really eat them. This kind of bites the leg. Let's take on a fresh batch. We'll find another cow. Put you to a final test. Fight him however you like. Okay. Short on lessons. Running long on lip. You'll need to think on your feet. Do we arrow kills count? Can't always look to me for help. Because if arrow kills count, then I can probably destroy this guy's kill count. Training yourself to see the perfect moment, rather than being told it. I once tracked a great eagle back to her nest. I decided to let them be, even before they tossed me into the room. <laughs> Right, uh, if arrow kills count, then I've got a huge advantage, because time slows when I take out my bow. And they count! Sweet. Massive unfair advantage! I don't think he can catch up now. Only really worth doing well in slow mo, though, because then it actively impedes him. Man, why is it your sword hits so much harder when you're on a Karagor? It doesn't make sense to me. Oh, did that get him? Apparently, you can just do it from behind. Oh, yeah, you can! I didn't know that. Wow, I am dominating him in kills. All right, uh, I'll just use my bow for that. I could probably just get him from here, actually. Torben is too quiet. Something must be wrong. Go to him, Talion. Uh, he's probably Perhaps fine. Track the hunter. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say he's probably fucking with me. You'll make a nice meal, dwarf. Torvin needs help. Seriously? Oh, perform a leaping takedown. Do I really need to? Uh. Um. Well, I guess Torvin's fucked because my Karagor got stuck. There we go. Um. I'm holding left shift. Oh, you had to do it from this ledge. Nope! Listen decides not to. What the fuck? Fuck. Okay. Well, this is a weird fight. That's the thrill of the hunt. Just so you know. What the fuck happened to you? What does riding categories have to do with killing grogs? All these questions, Captain. Oh, you are supposed to follow orders. You are testing my patience, Torvin. Pay attention. Wow. 
why did they have that moment where he got uh, knocked off his Karagor, I guess, and surrounded by two orcs? What was the point of that, other than to show he's terrible in a fight? This dwarf is far from home. Not all those who wander are lost. Doesn't make much sense to me, like he was doing great in the fight until that. Alright, let's get another thing marked off. We still have some episode- some episode- we still have some time left in this episode. We can go do one more, uh, slave thing before we end. Let's also get this one marked off. No, 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 no. Oh. I am your doom! That is all you need to know! Are you afraid of Karagoras? Cause I've got an advantage if you are. Da 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 da, kill the slave. Oh shit. Uh, you're not a good kitty. What now? I need elf shot. Any up here? No. Oh well, I got the thing. I don't know what he's weak to. I could try fighting him. Who knows, maybe he's not as tough as he looks. Uh, if I had an elf shot, I would shoot that. Oh right, I should I should use that to combat brand. Oh, I can jump around the back of him. Okay. Well, evidently it did work on you. There we go. That helped. Yeah, this guy's not tough. Oh, shit. Right, I should be sprinting more. Do I actually get enough hits on this guy every single time for that? Whatever. Um, hmm. I do have a decent amount still to learn. In terms of, uh, knowing thy enemy. I really should be collecting more runes. So, hunting these guys helps. Alright, let's go do one slave mission before we end. Um, okay, so we have up there, over here... And over there. Let's do, uh, let's do this one. And this will be the last mission of the episode, so if you're not interested in these side quests, then you can just skip ahead to the next episode, assuming the next one is already up in the playlist. I remember this area. I got ambushed a few times here. Just playing it safe. Come on, bunny hop, Talion, bunny hop! Yay! Weird to think I have all the survival stuff done. I'm pretty far through the game. To be fair, I did play it a lot before. I think I have 15 hours already. It's uh, nearly all recorded, I believe, either in just doing settings. Okay, what was it? Um, cause orcs to kill orcs. Oh, like branding, okay. So start a riot. I can do that. This is a really cool environment, I like this. Tuka. Vulnerable to combat finishers. Oh, vulnerable to stealth finishers. Uh, I want to mark that guy, actually, then. I can get rid of him while I'm here. He's vulnerable to stealth finishers. I'll just attack him above right here. Someone noticed me? Huh. That was easy. Oh, 
Witnesses! I'm just gonna climb along here. I wonder if I'll lose them doing that. If you guys can't see me. Really? They don't see me? Wow! That's, uh, those are some blind and dumb orcs. Thank you. Ah, uh, I can't get past that. Okay. Let's just do this again, just in case. Okay. Perfect. And now they can all be terrified. Well, I get away. Okay, they've definitely lost me now. Alright, I want to jump up there. Ah, oh, I thought I could make that. Oop, elf shot. I need that. Okay. Ooh, back to finding slaves. It's uh, E to Stealth Brand, okay. Gotta remind myself of that, because uh, I love Stealth Branding. So useful. And then I get to start a big riot near the end. Karagor over there. Good to know. Let's poison that real quick. Ooh. Why are they coming over here? Oh shit. Oof. A lot of dudes over here. Shit, they saw. Well, they're pretty blind. I'm sure they'll uh, lose me over here. Yeah, it looks like that got them. They're very confused. Yeah, I really want to save this slave one here, though. Uh, there's that one. I can go get that one first. Drop down again. There we go. And terrorize. All right, drop down. Quick, quick, quick. Yes. Ow. <laughs> what hit him? Did one of their throwing axes hit him? That's great. Okay, where am I looking? I'm looking up here. Okay. Can I, uh, use this? Yeah, sweet. Whoa, hey, they're looking right at me. Up here. Please help. Thank you. Man, it's really easy to lose them on this map. It's kind of crazy. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, but... Well, maybe I am complaining a bit on this one. Maybe it should be a little harder. The courage of men, indeed. <laughs> okay. Uh... No, jump, jump, jump? You're not okay with jumping? Okay. Just wanna... Okay. Okay, now you will. Don't leave us! Shut up. Ah! Thanks a plenty, stranger. <laughs> Sorry, I said last time I'd stop doing that. Although I didn't have any complaints in the comments, unless that episode hasn't aired yet, which I'm pretty sure it has. All right, let's just go for this last one. There, let's see if that helps out at all. A 
lot of casualties going down now. My eyes are yours. Just gotta keep letting them kill. Uh, I need to remind myself combat brand what the button is for that. Sorry, kind of probably takes you out of the fight doing this, but it takes me out too, I guess. So at least we both get to suffer. Um, action combat. Combat drain is C. I believe that also counts for combat brand, doesn't it? I assume they're the same thing. We'll see. Ding. Fuck, it's just reflexive, I can't help it! Uh, yeah, it is, it is the same. And, uh, the more you know him. Alright, just let them kill those skirmishers. Oh yeah, these guys are not gonna do well. They're all just kind of tunneling themselves in. Oh shit, there's a Berserker right there, I didn't notice him. I thought I would just get some easy shots on this guy. There we go! Sweet, that's a nice one to get on your side. Hit explode! That freaks him out. Okay, we have enough for our kills. Sweet. Man, combat brand is awesome. Such a nice ability. I went longer than I thought it would. Whatever, I'm sure no one's complaining about extra video. I'll have to start all over, but I won't give up. Thank you, Ranger. Alright, that's even more slaves freed. So, uh, oh, ability unlock. Um, two points available. That's right, I want to hang on to two points for the next power ranking, although I'm still pretty far away from that. Um, I remember someone told me... There's something that someone told me that was important about fire arrows, but I don't remember... Oh, that was it. Um, when you use your ability to go slow, have unlimited slow-mo and unlimited arrows for a short amount of time, they use fire arrows, I think it was. If you have the fire arrow ability, which would be very powerful. Uh, I don't know if I really need it, though, because I get headshots anyway, and that's usually a kill. It'd probably be really awesome when fighting a Graug or something, though, being able to just lay into it with fire arrows. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, throwing daggers, I've still never heard anything good about throwing daggers. I probably just do not need them. So I think I'll hold on to these points for now. God, we have a lot of money, too. Man, when did we get that many M's, and what do I want to spend that on? I've bought a lot of stuff. There's not much more to get, really. Jeez, how did I get that many? Did I really have that much at the end of the last time, or did I earn just a ridiculous amount this time? Well, either way, um, I think I want Focus Max. And I'm pretty close to getting more Elf Shot. But, yeah, maxing out Focus and Elf Shot just seem huge to me. And health is big, it's just, again, um, being able to kill things better in general is more important than being able to take hits better. Especially when this fashion of killing people almost ensures I can't get hit while I do it. Because, you know, the super slow-mo. Anyway, uh, until next time... Oh, uh, uh, wait, on the next episode we're gonna do... Mm. Next episode we're gonna do one more of those hunter missions, and then if we have time, we'll do some more of the slave-freeing missions. Until next time, have a nice day.